Welcome back to the channel guys. It has been forever since I put a video out. I've got so much going on. It has been crazy, but today we're gonna get a lot of stuff done. You can see we're working on Project Grey Matter back here. Uh, we've got everything left to do to it. Um, I'm gonna be throwing my new seat in. I've got to mount my brake pedal, which I mounted before and it didn't work. And I've got some new front shocks we're gonna try and throw in there. Hopefully mess with some steering. Uh, we just got a lot going on. I've been doing a lot of work to this car off camera because I don't get a lot of time to just sit down and, and film while I'm working on it. And honestly, I just don't get to work on it that much. It's just been crazy. I'm getting married in a, about a month. And so just a lot going on in my life right now. But I've got some really big news, really good news. Um, I got a call from Holly Performance and I won uh, travel money and entry into Holly LS Fest East in Bowling Green, Kentucky. So I'm super excited. I told them I'm bringing Project Gray Matter, so now we gotta get this thing done. So it's pretty windy out here, sorry for that, but let's check it out real quick. <clears throat> I got my drag pack wheels on it now that I picked up a few weeks ago. Really excited about that. We got some radials on the back, some skinnies on the front. In here, We've got my new Kirky 15 inch race seat that I picked up because my NRGs I was originally gonna use <clears throat> were too wide. The shoulder bolster actually hit either the pillar, the back window, or went through the window. I'd have to have the window down, so that just wasn't gonna work. Right now we're dealing with uh, pedals, steering, shifter, seat, everything. But also some other good news. Dun, dun, dun. We have a drive line. It's a little short. I kind of messed up on the measurements, but we have a drive line in here. I believe it's gonna work. I'm really stoked about that. So right now, the car starts. If I were to fire it up and put it into gear, I could rear end my brother's car. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so what happened was I mounted the brake pedal, drilled some holes in the frame, uh, I bought a Willwood pedal and I have a Willwood master cylinder assembly to bolt right there. So I drilled holes in the firewall, drilled holes in the frame, mounted it down, and then uh, came over here and was like, sweet, let me just mount it, mount my master cylinder. And then I saw that uh, the frame comes up right here, and if I try and mount my master cylinder, it's going to hit the frame. So what I'm going to have to end up doing is taking a chunk of one by one inch square tubing like what the floor is made out of and I'm gonna have to cut it to be about that wide why is my gimbal being stupid I have to cut it and uh, drill some holes in it and just put it underneath the pedal right here and turn it into a spacer to lift my whole pedal up about an inch and then I should be able to drill my master cylinder on the back and we should be good to go so that's gonna be uh, the first thing we do today, I'm gonna have to jack the car up. Yeah. <clears throat> Stupid gimbal. So that's gonna be the first thing we do today. I'm gonna have to jack the car up, climb underneath it, unbolt the uh, brake pedal and everything. And then I can grab my new uh, my chunk of 1x1 one one square tubing, drill some holes in it, make my spacer. I bought new hardware for it that's longer so that we can mount it. And yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Just give me a little time lapse. Let's get that knocked out and see if we can get our master cylinder put on. Maybe mess with some brake lines right now and uh, then move on to steering. So here's my brake pedal assembly. It's got those two mounting holes on the bottom. So I'm going to take this chunk of uh, square steel 
and cut it at about that length cut it right about there drill a couple of holes in it and that should give me the space I need so let's get on with it Alright, so here's what we have. This little spacer is just going to uh, bolt like that right onto the bottom and raise my brake pedal about an inch. Alrighty, so now I gotta drill a new hole in the firewall, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go measure that out, drill that new hole, and then uh, set my spacer in there and bolt the brake pedal back down. Um, there's not really a good place to set the camera, so I'm just gonna do it real quick and I'll uh, show you when it's done. Alright guys, it's super windy, as you can see right here. Got my brake pedal in, spacer mounted, everything. Pushing on that master cylinder, I was able to barely see it, but I was able to get the master cylinder in, it's mounted in place and everything. I was able to get the master cylinder mounted and everything, so we'll be plumbing up our lines and bleeding the brakes here shortly. But yeah, super excited. It took way longer than expected, but we got the brake pedal in, got it mounted, everything's good. Now we are working on the seat. Now we are working on the seat. I pulled these brackets off of my NRG over there. Um, that one will be going in the Corvette or the truck, and I've got another one, but I just had to steal the brackets real quick because I can't buy any right now, and I want to get the seat in, and I need to get the seat in for fitment. So, we are just going to, uh, line it up, measure some stuff out a little bit, should sit roughly about there, so I'm going to... Line it up, mark it, drill some holes, throw some bolts through, and uh, get this thing mounted. We'll have adjustability. We'll be able to go up to there or down to there. Unfortunately, with this black plastic piece in place, we'll only be able to mount the, the rear right there or drop it down and mount it through that top hole. But we won't be able to get that bottom hole to fit because that plastic's there and I don't want to cut it. So we're going to line it up. We're going to mark it out, drill it out. Throw our hardware through and then throw it in the car and maybe mount it today, we'll see. Again, sorry about the wind. Um, we've got our seat where it's gonna sit. I gotta bust the welder out and uh, gotta grind this down a little bit right here and right there so it'll drop down to flush. Got to weld one in there and I've got another one to weld right here. And then on this side, it's just gonna sit on that bar. Obviously, it's gonna scoot towards the drive line about half an inch. Then I'm just gonna mount it to that. Uh, to that tubing right there but we'll have the seat mounted this is roughly right here is roughly where it's gonna sit um, just got the steering set up basically my knees are gonna go up and over my knees are gonna be like almost touching the steering wheel but 
I gotta sacrifice a little bit of comfort to get this thing done and it's just gonna work that way and the interior has been a pain so we're just gonna bolt it all up and go so I might get that welded in today we'll see um, I need to weld some supports from here to here because when I chop that off to make my custom firewall let's see if I can get it on video you can't really see it but that moves a lot it flex it a lot see that so it flex a lot and I need to uh, support it so my steering wheel stays at about right there and then I'll be able to uh, use this exhaust manifold because right now my steering goes just about underneath it so if I raise the steering wheel up a little bit push that down a little bit I'll be able to run a u-joint to a piece of bar to a u-joint right there which I have sitting over there and we will be good for steering and then I can either weld onto the frame right there or we'll see where I end up doing it but I bought a uh, I bought this bad boy a little steering support bearing so we'll be mounting that into the frame that way my steering rod stays nice and secure and we'll have steering so got that all done I haven't been videoing much because it's super windy out here but yeah seat and steering will be done brake is going to sit right there and then here's my throttle pedal throttle pedal is going to mount right there and sit right there right about there so yeah we are getting things done slowly but surely the uh, video quality is completely terrible right now the wind is terrible I'm sorry guys but I'm trying to get content out there for you guys Game. You guys ready for this one? You can see. Oh, you can't see. You got a giant 3M on it. You know what that means? I finally decided on and picked the color of the wrap for the Corvette. That's right, we're wrapping the Corvette. It lives outside now for the most part, and I want to protect the paint, and I can't stand the red, and I've been wanting to start wrapping, so you ready? Here we go. This is my first time seeing the color too. I have a little sample of it, but this is my first time seeing the whole roll. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it looks so good. We decided to go with a uh, metallic blue. Excited, it'll be completely different than what's on the car right now, and it's gloss and it's just gonna look good. So, that's the big surprise that you guys didn't know about. We were wrapping the Corvette in gloss metallic blue, so we'll be doing that really soon. As soon as I get a chance, uh, I got a shop set up and everything, so hopefully, sometime next week. It's really windy, so I doubt you can hear me, but uh, yeah, stay tuned for that video. You scared? It's okay. It's okay. Alrighty, so it's been a pretty productive day. Um, didn't get a lot of footage because it's all been really boring stuff, but we're wrapping it up on the bug for now because it's a holiday weekend. It's July 3rd going up to the mountains to camp tonight and I just don't have any more time but we made a lot of progress and I'm really excited so we made our fan shroud that uh, I forgot to get hardware for to mount the fan to it but it started out life as a cookie sheet got my notches cut for my uh, my intake and outtake ports on my uh, radiator don't know why I'm blanking on those names so much um, we got the fan shroud made for the rear mount radiator um, I bought hardware to finally mount my uh, alternator and I bought stuff that is too short unfortunately so I got to go back and get some more but whatever 
and then got my uh, tensioner pulley on there nice and tight so now next thing is going to be measuring out how long the belt I need after I uh, get my mounting hardware and then put a little support in there will be good that'll be mounted throw a belt on there water pump will be pumped in I'll finish up my cooling system sometime next week because I've got almost everything I need for that uh, I put my you can see just the tops right there I put my new AC Delco shock absorbers in it it feels a lot stiffer a lot better so I'm really excited about that I need to uh, get this I need to do my brake lines tee the fronts together and then throw them in that master cylinder bleed them I'll finally have brakes I'll have steering so hopefully next week I can do my first test drive um, it's been a long process, a slow process. I'm getting as much as I can done, and I'm super excited. But we will be at LS Fest East 2020. It'll be there. I'll be doing burnouts. Who knows? I don't know if I'll be able to, but if it all works out, I might try and drive the bug out there, which is going to be the most miserable, loud, hot, uncomfortable 2,000 miles of my life. But I might do it. Let me know what you think. Um, if I can make it out there, it'd be freaking awesome. Either that or I'll just trailer it out there and it'll be freaking awesome either way. But I hope to see anybody that wants to see this bug at LS Fest East. Uh, let me show you one last thing. I'm really excited and really proud and happy of this. Let me make sure everything's out of the way. We've got, don't know if you can see it. Eh. The original Volkswagen key right there. Just uh, turn that. No! I think I'm out of fuel. Dang it, I am out of fuel, guys. Well, every time I try and show you guys, um, it fires up, it runs flawlessly when it has fuel in it. Um, I'm super happy and really excited. I got a drive line in it, got everything pretty much there. Uh, we're gonna have to button up a bunch of little crap. I'm gonna put the dash back in. I'm going to start layering the floor. I gotta put sheet metal on it, which I was originally cutting up old hoods that I had laying around and using that, or was going to do that. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is just buying some sheet metal, throwing it on there, drilling some holes, riveting it in, and not looking back. So, we're almost done, almost there. Uh, thank you so much for your love and support, guys. I hope you like it. Uh, we got a lot more content coming soon because I just don't have a choice. I am running out of time. But I sold my bullet bike to fund this, so now we got the funds again, and it's just about the time. So... If you want to see more Grey Matter content, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, uh, like, comment, let me know what you think. Um, me and John are both putting out as much content as we can right now. John's getting ready to, uh, he's going to be busy for a couple of weeks and uh, he won't be able to, John's going to be busy for a couple of weeks and he won't be able to make any videos so I'm going to be pumping them out. Uh, thank you guys so much. We will see you in the next one. Peace! Thank you.